Good afternoon, Lace Chopper. I'm John, this is Betty Atruda, and welcome back to Rome Total War Remastered, where you join me here with the, um, the Dacian Empire. As you can see from the fact I'm holding Sicily and uh, Southern Italy, and that's where most of my, uh, activity is going on. Obviously, very obviously, uh, Dacia going on here. No idea why you'd think this was in any way odd. Yes, things have gone, um, things have gone a bit off the rails, shall we say. You see, last time I managed to perfect my raiding stance where we just get in, trash a city, take it over, and then get out before the Skippy I can respond. The problem is, uh, they've still got massive armies. So, okay, today we might need to do something about those armies, because uh, I think we could actually hold this. We could hold Sicily, just like we're flipping holding Southern Italy. And these cities are valuable, they've got ports, or rather I could give them ports. They could be, uh, they could be huge. This could theoretically pay for enough mercenaries uh, to take Rome itself. And speaking of Rome, yes, that's going to diplomat out because uh, I can't help but notice Carthaginian forces have just been standing outside Rome for some years. And Carthage and Rome are at war. So uh, I feel like me and Carthage could, in theory, be friends, damn it. And let's not forget Segestica is being threatened by the Julii. And the Scythians keep showing up too, but I think I've finally managed to put together, yes, enough of a garrison up there to hold all this together. So, uh, we might actually just about be able to hold all of this. I've no idea how, but we're pulling it off, damn it. And the first big move today is, uh, yeah, dependent on uh, where the Scipii move next. This is not a particularly terrifying army. In theory, I could sally against this all day, every day, so... Uh, Okay, split up the forces a bit. Let's make sure everybody's got a good chance here. Oh yes, and I missed this last time. Apollonia has fallen to Thrace, and Larissa is about to, and they have got massive, massive armies swinging south. Thrace is kicking ass this game. And that really works for me, because if we're lucky, they'll go to war against the Greek cities. That'll keep them busy versus each other, meaning I'm just free to do whatever I want over here. And don't forget, by the way, Masana has got a great big forum. And that means uh, assassins are now on the field. So, okay, step one, take out the Skippy Eye Assassin. Step two, start picking off some captains uh, just for some experience. Because uh, the scariest thing on the field for me is this giant pile of generals. If an assassin can kill them, their heavy cavalry ceases to exist. So that there could be rather useful indeed. Okay, so the Scipii are attacking Croton. That's absolutely fine. We've got plenty of troops nearby to deal with that. I'm really not too worried. They've also got more troops coming in and... Seriously, me and this boat have just been skirmishing versus each other for years at this point. We just keep going at it. And the Scythians are... Okay, they were moving in. Then they changed their minds, so... If we're lucky, Thrace will help us out with this one, because me and Thrace are good friends, damn it. And irritatingly, these guys have refused to commit, though. Okay, on the other hand, you didn't attack Lilibium. So, as a result of that, Lilibium is... Okay, I just own Sicily now, and you guys apparently do not care. Marvellous. Okay, but now the upgrades are kicking in. Even Barbarian Mercenaries with... Uh, a bit of experience, silver weapons, uh, bronze shield, uh, oh, they're up to melee attack 10, defense of 12. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, these guys are actually pretty damn solid. And the Sand Knights, melee attack 8, defense 16, they will absolutely tear apart cavalry. This is lovely. All right, deploy the kid uh, together with uh, plenty of this stuff down over here just to go deal with... Uh, this situation, and I am surprised he's willing to give battle, but that is no trouble whatsoever. Okay, I have a little bit of high ground here, so they're going to send their Velites forward, but their Velites are going straight into range of my missiles, and my Illyrians are superior to them. Then they're going to try and send everything forward, so okay. You want to charge your Equites forward, do you? That's all absolutely fine. You guys just start moving forward. Uh, you guys just fall back. You guys move a little bit forward to uh, to cover them. They'll probably change their minds in just a second. Uh, and honestly, if they want to go for a little bit of a charge straight into them, they're going to do a tiny bit of damage to my Illyrians. But seriously, Illyrians are tough. 
And now these guys are just going to fall apart. So, okay, you know what? That there, that was flipping worth it. Because now your flipping cavalry is dead and now you got nothing. Okay, Prinkip has now coming in for their go. So everybody activate your war cry if you'd be so kind. Do you know what? They want to do this. I'm happy to do this. That's fine. You guys are kind of supposed to take the odd little bit of damage. You guys are going to try and come in too. You guys attack them. You guys try and attack these guys. Get around the side. Your general or rather your captain's already gone. You're not going to be around for too long. Sadly, don't have any cavalry, but this is, yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Now just mop them up. I mean, this is what you want to see. If you're going to take casualties, uh, let them be on the Barbarian Mercenaries. They're not very good. Uh, they're just good at absorbing charges and letting other better units do their job. Okay, now what the flip are we going to do here in Sicily? Because, uh, to be honest, my thought was, yes, we're going to take out the armies here. But that was assuming this army was stuck over here and this army was on its own. They're sort of pulling together. I could take out either one of these armies, uh, but not both. Sure, I could night fight, but that leaves me exposed in the open field. I feel like actually the better option might be just to go for the kill. Capua. At this point, they don't have any cities. Take out Capua, that's it. They're done. I think that's the best option right here. Okay, bring in the boats, evacuate. We're leaving. Guys, everybody out. Apart from, say, somebody who's just going to guard the walls. Nice thing about Syracuse, even if I basically just leave it completely alone, it kind of doesn't matter, alright? They try and storm the city, it is going to cost them a lot, actually, because wall defences are going to do some serious damage. And same deal here, everybody out, everybody in the boats. And seriously guys, I am so damn sick of the Julii, alright? Naff off, and then... You naff off. Everybody just naff off. Meanwhile, it rather looks like, yes, Marcus is heading to Salona, not Segestica. Okay. I mean, I feel like I need to pursue. He's not got... That's Velitez, that's Town Watch. It's still mostly pretty much entirely trash. Have we got some... Oh, yeah, we have got 10 million reinforcements. Just get all of that out. Let's go. Skirmisher army, take him down. Oh, a bit tricky here. They're going to have... Oh, they got a massive high ground advantage. Oh, that's going to be fun. Or at least, I assume they are. Okay, right now, we don't know where they are. I assume they're on top of this. Oh, hang on. They're not. Okay, guys, 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 guys. Reposition yourselves uh, over here. Get on the high ground. With this much of a slope, oh, we are going to annihilate them. Block them off. Make sure they don't come up here. Use cavalry to block them if they try. Okay, one thing he does have is uh, Triarii. Gotta be a little bit careful of them. And very cleverly, uh, he's put that by his cav, which would otherwise be a good target for my own cav just charging down the hill. Because, uh, yes, slopes build uh, momentum. I'm going to be honest, I'm tempted just to go in anyway. I think I could do a lot of damage here. All right, just bring you round over to here. You guys get up to the crest of the hill as soon as you can, please. Just start moving forward. I'm going to buy you some time and a bit of a distraction by just sending in the Sarmatians for the biggest charge of their bloody lives. So, okay, you guys are a very, very long way from home. Have fun with this, by the way. Come on, Triari. I do not get in the way. Do not get in the way. Do not get in the way. Out of the way. You're going to kind of clip them. Darn it. Okay. Come a bit more over here. I don't want you, yes, getting in the wrong position. Hang on. Are they... Oh! They might have decided to flee. I'm not sure. Okay. If they're trying to flee, don't flipping let them. Get over here. Stop them. Okay. We're going to hit them right in the side. But I think they've decided, uh-oh, we don't want to do this after all because of the, uh, the uphill advantage. So... Okay, that's all absolutely fine. There's a couple of units we can pick off here. This is the second time Marcus has engaged and then fled. He is a coward. An utter, utter coward. And he's not getting away untouched. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We are slamming into this here town watch, damn it. All right, we're doing some damage to these guys. Pull straight back out again. Please hit these guys. I don't want anybody getting away. Where are my skirmishers? Get them 
into position. They should be ready to hit the Triarii momentarily. And there we go. Just sort all of this out. They are, they're shaken. Then in come the Sarmatians. But yeah, when you're running into something that's uh, already in the process of... Oh, blimey. Okay, so you're going to break probably immediately, right? Wavering and come on, you've got to break. And yes, with the uphill advantage, these Triarii are going to take one a hell of a battering from the Illyrians at this point. Oh yeah, not enjoying that. Already wavering, hit them. Hit them, hit them, hit them. Let's see if we can just drive a few of them off, please. Uh, continue the fight. Stop tossing. My cavalry's now there. But screw it. I'm taking some of this. All right. We are having some free Triarii. Screw you, elite Romans. All right. Also, I love how units just sort of, yes, uh, cluster up on the edge of the field when you're pursuing fleeing units. It's great. Okay, Marcus. Once again, hopefully, this time, you've learned your bloody lesson. Oh yeah, half that Triarii is gone. That's going to make it much easier for my Cav on the follow-up. And he is... Oh, he's fleeing into... He's fleeing into the boats. Sadly, I do not have a boat ready to pursue. As hilarious as that would be. Ah, yes, and my assassin. So, I could start taking out captains, but to be honest... Yeah, one, going to be difficult. Ooh, merchant. Yes, kill that rebel merchant. So... He's got an axe. I'm pretty sure he didn't always have an axe. But okay, he's got an axe. So that there, that's lovely. He can hop on the boat and get on the mainland next time. That's all a-okay. And oh yeah, Macedon do not want to lose Larissa, but I feel like it's too late. The Thracians are here in big numbers. Oh, and here we go. There's... Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So, they've come in to attack these guys who are just outside the city. Now, I can withdraw, so honestly, yeah, just get behind the city. That's fine. In fact, I kind of thought they didn't have any movement points left, but uh, whatever. And keep an eye on Rome. Rome moving does not cheer me up, actually. Rome moving worries me. Okay, Syracuse is still not under siege. They're just sort of uh, hanging around nearby. But to be honest, like, if it goes rebel and picks up a rebel army, it's still going to take them a few turns to take it back. They're still down to one city. By the way, Carthage, me and you seriously need to talk. So how about we trade? Excellent. And how about we do some lovely map information? And okay, there's a bit of map information. And me and you should be friends. Okay, he's maybe interested. Oh, flip me. We have got some allies. Okay, Thrace and Carthage. How are you guys doing, by the way, oh dear? Okay, I'm guessing this is not not looking spectacular. What happened to your Spanish holdings, you stupid? Okay, fine, they're not having the best game. But on the plus side, they haven't lost, uh, yeah, Sardinia or anything yet, so that's good. Okay, send a small boat over here just to, yes, blockade Capua. I want that place nice and flipping poor, if at all possible. Now, as for the rest of it. Okay. This is going to be tricky to pull off. Because what I could do is... Okay. Now I'm allied with Carthage. There's a few different ways I could make this happen by taking advantage of a zone of control. Because if I was to just put a unit like... Yeah, this spot right here, then all of a sudden, that would actually exert, ooh, just one unit right there. Okay, my original plan was a fort, because if I build a nice fort right here, they'd have no choice but to siege it down, so any Roman army would not be able to get over here to reinforce Capua, but, I mean, to be honest, that's... With the Carthaginians on side, I mean, it's not much, but there are elephants. There's elephants, there's a good general. It would slow the Romans down enough that I could take Capua in the meantime. Okay, deploy the fleet right over to here. But do not land it just yet. Unfortunately, they've never built paved roads here, which would have been convenient. But what can you do? I just want the boats to be... Right here. Then again. May as well check if they've got any mercs that we can hire. None. Unfortunate in a way. 
Right, back on the boat, please. Uh, no need to uh, expose yourself too early. Ah, uh, yes, and I should mention this, by the way. Pretty small, but also very big change uh, to the barbarians, because... Uh, Okay, barbarians used to have a really big problem with Squalor. In fact, Squalor was a fairly big problem for everyone. So uh, if you played this game before, then you've probably witnessed this situation, which is uh, a city is just determined to be unhappy and rebel. And no matter what you do, no matter how many happiness buildings, no matter anything, eventually it happens. And it was always because uh, of Squalor. Because squalor is a function of population, so as the city grows, eventually it just gets more and more unhappy, until you basically have no choice but to go and burn it to the ground just to reduce the population, at which point everyone's happier because it's less messy. That has now changed, and one way for everybody, squalor's effect on happiness is now capped. It cannot go over a certain level. So you shouldn't really have the scenario where cities need to be burnt to the ground just because they're a bit mucky. But, if you're Barbarian, there's another good thing. Tavern buildings now provide a bonus health. To kind of offset the fact that Barbarians don't get access to, you know, baths, aqueducts, sewers, all the rest of it. So, that makes life a whole lot easier for these guys. And up north, no major movement from Scythia, though... Something I'm very happy about, yes, the Scythian Diplomat Party does still happen, and it's happening outside one of my towns today. So that there, that's just lovely. Okay, looks to me like we have got ourselves... Oh! Okay. Gonna be honest, not... Not what I was expecting. Right there. So... Masana just seems to have gone by the way, the Zama... Yes, just yes, another fight between these two boats. They just keep going at it. One day, we'll have defeated them for good. Okay, so, bloody hell, this is a very unusual playstyle. So, Masana has gone back to uh, the Scipii, by the looksy of it. I thought they'd go, you know, rebel, but apparently not. Ah, but of course, yes, rebellions in favour of a faction go in a particular direction. They can only build uh, with what's there. So, as a result of that, this is kind of perfect. That city's now just nothing but a handful of peasants, super easy to take care of. Uh, meanwhile, uh, okay, well, uh, this kind of screws up my let's win this turn plan, I'll admit, but... I mean, we should still go and take Capua. If we burn that to the ground, that's their biggest source of infrastructure right now. I mean, uh, this city's got nothing. They can't train anything in this city. It's going to be five turns before they can make a single bloody Hastate. So, that there, that's good. Okay, my assassin just needs to keep getting a few little practice kills under his belt. So, you just whack that there, merchant. Merchants are nice, easy pickings uh, for an assassin. Well done. And then just start moving uh, in this direction, because uh, eventually, uh, you might be able to start doing uh, some good work. Okay, not spank spectacular to be honest but eventually kill enough merchants you'll be ready to take out one of these guys okay deploy our forces uh, over in this direction now the big question is uh, how are we going to make this work because uh, i could still go for the fort plan or we just go over here and use carthage which i'm going to be honest is more hilarious yes or of course we do both so i feel like yes that's the better option can we even get well, one one We've actually got uh, mercenaries. That's good. Uh, two. Can we get... Darn. Okay. Invalid position, unfortunately. It's a bit too tight for a fort. So, okay. I'm sure glad in that case we've got ourselves a backup plan. So, okay. Who would like to go in and be a bit of a sacrifice to Rome? And uh, I'm going to be honest. This right here. This strikes me as a good potential option. So let's just move you a little bit out of the way, buddy. Because, yes, you can retreat. Okay, Mr. Sarmation. If it gets a bit too dicey for you, you retreat. So you come over here. And now, oh my goodness, look at that zone of control diddly diddly day. But if they attack this guy, then he's going to pull in allies as reinforcements. Oh, everything is wonderful all of a sudden. We are going to pull in the Carthaginians as reinforcements while I flipping take out all of this nonsense. Okay, get in the siege stuff. Triarii, Hastati, the faction leader. Love it. Flipping love it. Oh, this is... This is a genius plan right here. I am going to use the Carthaginians to kill Rome. Or at the bare minimum, slow them down. 
By the way, you can just naff off. All right, I do not need you floating around here. But yeah, keep the boats nearby. If this goes all a bit tits up, we might need to retreat down to the boats immediately. And as for you, you need to be skirmished against just because... Well, hang on. First out, where's... Is that... No, that's... That's Quintus Julius. Where's Marcus? All right, we need to find him. Oh, there he is. He's down over there. Okay, start fighting our way in that direction. Screw you. And then get Marcus. Get Marcus. Get him. Was that Marcus? Wait, which one was Marcus? One of them was... Okay, that's Marcus. Sadly, that's a well-experienced boat, so... It's a bit tricky to get on top of him. Still, you guys can just seriously naff off out of my sea. If this guy and Marcus were able to get together, that could be a problem. But look at the position. Remember, the glory of Rome was a dynamic battle maps. If I attack this guy from this direction, I ought to have a massive high ground advantage going in against him. At that point, honestly, I feel like we've got a real good shot. Especially with all of this range. We're going in. Alright, we're going to make it happen. By any outstanding mercenaries, there are none. But seriously, mate, you're going down. And I say that from the point of view of somebody who very literally has the high grounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got a bit of high ground too. But I think if we can just push them... Down in this direction, we should be golden. Alright, send the cav forward. I can't even see them right now, which hopefully means they're down here somewhere. So, where are you? Where are you, buddy? There you go. I see at least some of this. So, yeah, just chase them off with my cavalry. It's going to be too slow to do much. But, just pull round over here. Get into this sort of a position. And seriously, if you guys want to, that's the Roman general. Are you actually engaging with me? Are they wanting to engage directly? I mean, if they do, I'm not necessarily going to say no. This is this is all very interesting. You guys just... Everything's under control. It's all fine. Okay, just, just back off, all right? Just be in position. Be ready. Deal with anything that tries to charge me. What's this, by the way? That's... Okay, that's a Roman general as well. They've got possibly two different generals here. But now we're tossing stuff, okay? Now we're just tossing stuff down the hill. Just keep your distance. Don't engage with them. That is... That's cavalry auxilia. This is... Okay, this is all very close. But at this point, we've just got a massive uphill advantage. And we're just going to tear them apart. We're just going to tear apart anything that tries to get close to me. They've actually got the high ground of the high ground, but I can chase them off. That's absolutely fine. They'll definitely run in a second. They're now just chilling out right here. Pull back a tiny bit. See if these guys, if it's possible. But yeah, we're kind of getting a bit caught out of position here. We should be able to do... Ah, oh, that general... Oh, no! You utter cowards! Why on earth are you breaking that easy? Oh, that's... Oh, the Sarmatians. Oh, you guys came a long way to die. Okay, but on the plus side, we're doing ridiculous damage to their front line. That's just a starty. Just charge at them. I was about to say down the hill, but like kind of anyway. Uh, just charge into them. Hit them nice and easy. They are steady. This guy must have some serious morale boosting going on. Because, okay, I'm going to be honest, this is not going, not going entirely as well as I was hoping for. Uh, where are the Thracians? Those are Bastani. Okay, they can do some really good work tearing apart everything. I'm kind of out of ammo. Um, a little bit out of ammo right now. Now, some units are starting to break. I'm kind of hoping he might give up at some point and decide to... Oh, I really didn't want to do this as it turns out. So, there's more Prinkipes there. They're actually full strength Prinkipes, which is uh, not good. In fact, they're actually now hitting uh, my unit. It's time to see if I can wrap up the line over here. Okay, send my cavalry over to this sort of a direction. Cavalry Auxilia is doing some good work too. You guys are back. And no, you're not. Never mind, you're fleeing. Uh, okay, where's where's my actual army? Because I should be paying attention to that, by the way. And then just start hitting these guys. Seriously, you guys are standing well. This is a good general right here. And what the flip is going on? Okay, just more in this direction. More in this direction. I'm taking Nox here. Hastati... Get over here. They are firing missiles at my general. That's going to hurt. Just smash into them. Steady. What the? 
I think we might want to go, actually. This is not going as I expected. Um, okay. Not, not appreciating this. I mean, Illyrians can fight. They can, just not necessarily well. Um, okay. Warcry the Bastani, then send them over here. Warcry the Barbarian Mercenaries, uh, send them forward too. Alright, they can fight. They can fight. It's fine. What are you? That's more auxilia. Okay, I'm sending forward the Bastani, because Bastani should be able to... Look at that. Bastani will flipping melt anything. They'll take some damage in response, but they'll still do alright. Now, you guys just get over here. Some of their units have already gone. You guys are really pepped up by the war cry at the moment. You guys are firing missiles still. If we could just hit the... Okay, now their general's going in. I'm deploying everything. We're sending in the rest of it. Okay. You guys just try and see off that. You guys back up that. You guys back up that. You guys have already broken, actually. Uh, there's a Roman... Oh, the Roman general's right there, which is not... Gonna be honest, none of this is um is how this was supposed to be going. But the Bastani should do some good work. Okay, just get my remaining cavalry round the back here. You guys have managed to recover. So get back in, if you'd be so kind. And then the Roman general is right here. Which is not really what I want. Hit these guys in the side. Hit them in the side, nice and fast, please. Nice and fast. See if we can just break them and charge and hit... And shaken, but that's it. Seriously, what is what is going on here? Okay, you guys just keep on, keep on pushing forward. Have they got more generals than I was expecting? I think they've got like an extra general I didn't bother to consider the existence of. Hastati is now starting to waver. Okay, the Illyrians I think have managed to turn the tide. Enemy general is now routing. Okay, we killed somebody. The Bastani just did it. And so, just look at that. The Bastani are still at 129 and they're just... Okay, I think we got it. Blimey, that was... That was not what I was expecting. At all, actually. I think I should have paid more attention to that guy's traits. Because he must have had some really good morale boosting stuff going on. Okay, the Sarmatians were badly hurt. But they were able to heal up a lot. So, they're still at fighting strength. And look at the Bastani. Okay, 33 sustained, 146 inflicted. Those guys are not kidding, and uh, the Illyrians did a huge amount of work at the beginning. Well done, guys. And yet another unit goes and hides on some boats. Dear oh flippin' dear. Can we hire some more stuff, by the way? I mean, to be honest, I feel like we kind of need to go and do a bit of a hiring session anyway. Over here, in this territory, there might be a big amount of uh, cavalry and infantry we can buy. In fact, it might be time to push back into Patavium. I don't know. And to the bare minimum, yeah, you guys need to be skirmished just for safety. Oh, there's a lot here, though. Faction air and also another couple of generals. But the rest of it, we can take out. And remember, if they've got no infantry, they can't get in. They just simply can't, because there's nobody to operate the siege equipment. So, uh, three units, take them out, nothing they can do, or... Weaken them enough the wall defences take them out. Again, they're done. Nothing they can do anymore. Oh, just look at that. I love it. Yes, I always loved how you had uh, different cultures uh, mixed together inside uh, cities in Rome. So this is a Roman-style city in basic architecture. But because I built my religious building, the religious building is my style. So we got this lovely, you know, big park and stone circles and whatever. Oh, it's just lovely. I love the mix and match of styles. Though I'll admit, my market does look a bit pathetically small in the middle of this uh, Roman city. So that's a bit of a shame. Okay, while my troops pile out of the gates, let's make sure we understand what we got here. Because uh, the big thing is, this army depends on cavalry. So I could probably take out the Equites uh, right now. If they're going to be coming in at this gate, there's not going to be much to stop them. Because, yes, I can't build stone walls, unfortunately. And this is a good angle. No tower here. This tower's way over here. Yeah, this place, not well guarded. But to my advantage, if they're depending on cavalry, I have got hoplites. I've got Samnites. If they try and take this city, I'm not going to make it easy for them. Okay, first things first, get up to them, just see if we can spook them, turn them around, and maybe pick off the Light's Cav. Because that should be a fairly easy pick-off for Skiles over here. So, uh, let's see what we got. Just 
skirmish, move. In a straight one-on-one -on -one fight, I could win against one of these generals, too. So, that there, that's worth thinking about. So, do I just want to dive right now? Because, to be honest, they're being... They're being very chill, all things considered. In fact, hang on, are you guys... Are you guys retreating? Not just yet, anyway. Okay, get over here. Get over here. Yeah, I'm just going to hit the light cav. We're just going to break them, push them off the field, do a whole bunch of damage, and... I say that... Okay, I've kind of walked into... Okay, now get around the back. I should do okay here. Yeah, they don't want to fight. They don't really want to fight. In fact, hang on, was that your... Was that your faction there? That's the faction there. Yep, yeah, okay, back off. Don't let the Prinkipairs toss anything. Okay, we killed a lot of flipping light cav right there. Honestly, if we can hit ya, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do that. Two on one, get around them, get around them, get around them, get around them. Do it. Engage. Okay. Your factionaire versus my factionaire. And then just get in around the back of you. I've got experience. You don't. Okay. You are going to lose. You are going to... Oh, you're going to lose fast, actually, mate. You're going to lose very fast. You should not have engaged away from the rest of your army. And 32, 28, wavering. As soon as he breaks, he's dead. Because he's sandwiched. And can we kill him? Can we get the kill? Have we got a kill? Enemy general fallen. Okay, we just took out their faction there and then just saw off the rest. Though, I've taken some knocks to do it. I'd like to kill the Velites. If I can kill the Velites, then I'm pretty safe to move up my skirmishers and start peppering. So I'd love to kill them. But I have taken some knocks myself and you've got to remember that I am also, yes, now out of my spare hit point. Though... If you'd just like to feed your Velites into, you know, my meat grinder, I'm not going to say no, you know. That there, I'll flip and take. So just get on them, start chopping. They can't be happy about this. They can't be happy about this. They can't be happy about this. Might be time for me to go in just a second. Because, yes, they're so close to the edge of the field, they're going to get off the field. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Back off. Back off, back off, back off. Now, the thing I've got to remember is, I kind of don't want them to retreat. Because if they retreat, they might be in range of Capua. I'd rather just severely damage them and then call it a day. And to be honest, I feel like I have severely damaged them. That's one general down. This point. What would they be doing if they tried to come into the city? Well, I could make the cav run straight into this. I could pelt these guys all day. I think we call it there because I don't want them to call off the siege. I want the siege to continue. If they call off the siege, they might be able to stop my Capua plan. I'd say we've done enough. That's good. That's fine. Okay, nice draw. We've taken down your number of men hugely significantly, including... Oh, look at that. Just lovely. Not a single casualty healed on your side. So, the siege continues, but at this point, it's much, much more manageable. And uh, they physically can't get back to Capua, even if they choose to pull out right now. Also, now I'm sort of curious. If I was to send my spy to spy on Masana, which he can do, and then I was to send this guy to put Masana under siege, which, again, I was kind of, kind of hoping for you know, uh, the spy to open the gates. What can you do? But yes, if he could have done, could a single unit of Illyrians in melee defeat four units of basic unupgraded peasants? Because I suspect he could have done, you know. And this guy's just done me a favour. Because Syracuse, I'm pretty sure, can't flip to Rebel or Scipio while it's under siege. So while he's just standing there, wasting time and taking damage to towers, basically, I win. I get to keep making a tiny bit of money off that place. And as for Thrace, they're back on Larissa. So, okay, that war just keeps dragging on too. Scythians are still not moving. Though I do have my brand new agent. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of exciting people here at the Swamp Party. So, Spain, me and you should trade. And we've also got our first ever Armenian right here too. So again, no reason not to trade. And also, I would like more map information, please. That is apparently generous. So... I'll be taking some money too. And that gives us a bit of information. So, okay. The Armenians are not having a good game. They've pretty much just got, uh, yeah, what they start with. And that's broadly a lot. 
Now, I'm pretty sure I saw a Scythian diplomat go in this direction. But if not, I should head over here anyway. Because I should really try and make peace with Scythia, if at all possible. Because I could do without them just coming in and bothering me. So right now in Italy, yes, Masana, Syracuse, Tarentum and Capua are all under siege. But here's the big moment, because I desperately, desperately want Rome to come and attack me. Just so, so much. And okay, that army moves over to Crotorn from Tarentum. That guy goes back to Lilibium, which is in all fairness pretty clever, because... I mean, now everything's under siege. Bloody hell, why not? And oh no, I might be about to lose a boat. Okay, he survived. Well done. You're ignoring Capua to go and help out with Crotorn, despite the fact your last siege failed, and now you're even weaker. So, Rome has not come to attack. Oh my. Oh flipping my yes. That means Capua is mine. Okay, get the assassin to continue just assassinating people, and uh, I was about to say, you didn't just fell a 95% chance, did you? Because if so, that'd be embarrassing. There you go. Just get better and better at your job, thank uh, you. Just uh, hang out over here. No trouble. No trouble at all. Problem is, uh, I can't attack these guys uh, and still bring in uh, the Carthaginians, because... Uh, if I do, it'd be his zone of control that will be pulled in, not mine. So, we'll just leave this guy here, he's fine, and Capua is gonna fall. In fact, thinking about it, based on the position of my boat... Okay. In theory, could I... Could I find a way to take Masana before they're actually able to take Syracuse? Because I suspect they've got to be moving in soon. So I do not know what the timings are going to be here. Okay, step one. Just take Capua and burn it to the ground. That's a good starting point. Okay, three-pronged strike here. Which is, you are going to move in well. Depends. How are they guarding the walls? Are they guarding the walls? Okay, it appears they're not guarding the walls. So, in which case, don't bother with the towers. Uh, just send in one little light unit with some ladders and then we'll let ourselves in with the key under the mat. It's fine. I was all ready for a wall fight, okay? Had my Thracians at this perfect angle where this tower shouldn't really be able to hit them. Uh, had these guys uh, ready to go. Is that an armorer, by the way? No, it's a blacksmith boo. As my troops get into position, I will say, I think it's a missed opportunity not to have redesigned the Pro Consoles Palace, because seriously, what the flip is this thing? This thing is a nonsense. I mean, how am I supposed to be reading this? Does it have a moat? Because it appears to have a moat. Like, you've got a front door over here, but where does the front door go? Nowhere. Just like, I don't know, do guests when they arrive uh, go in here, then have to loop all the way around here? And then uh, you'd think maybe they'll enter this area. Like, you know, this is a nice place to walk because there's bridges, but there's no door here. So they can't get out here, in which case, how do they get to the main palace? Do they have to go in the door, up some stairs to get up to this door, to walk along this area in order to get down to... Well, they can't get down to here because this ramp doesn't go anywhere. So they have to walk along to here. So then you have to walk to here to get to this door to presumably walk down some steps to get down to here, to walk along here, over the bridge, round here, up the ramp and into the palace. Okay, why are dignitaries forced to solve a bloody maze to see the proconsul? Roman buildings are like this. Government buildings in town. They didn't have moats. Is it a moat? I don't know. It looks like a moat, but this thing is an utter, utter nonsense. Anyway, same old, same old. Got plenty of spears, which is very, very nice indeed. So you guys just open fire. So yeah, the Cretan archers on the right will now take a shot. Some of you will shoot upwards. As soon as we just draw the attention of this here cav, we'll pull them in to spear central. That should be the end of your faction leader. And he's looking a little bit nervous about the situation, understandably really, because yeah, spears to one side, spears to the other, but he's been attacked at this point, so he can't really back off, he doesn't really have a choice. So, here we go. You guys just get in over here, and some of you will be pushed in that direction, straight into some lovely, lovely spikes. By the way, I've got some heavy cavalry to come at the back here, so good luck with that. 
And the Brinker pairs are a bit annoyed about that, but it's going to be too late to uh, to really do much. So let's just make sure you guys don't get to recover. And there you go. Now you're all nice and dead. And you guys can then just go over here to stay away from the Brinker pairs. Lovely. And the final few units of infantry break as soon as they're confronted with a phalanx. So with that, that's your capital down, mate. So we're going to be tearing down all of that, of course. Kappa are now in excellent shape. And uh, okay, they're not dead because they've got Masana. But what they don't have anymore is any ability to train literally anything. They do not have any production facilities. You know what? I am lying. Masana can make peasants. That's it. That's all they can do. Ah, uh, yes, and with all that lovely extra money, step over the line over to here and... Uh, oh, yeah. That's what we wanted. Uh, reinforcements. Now, the big question for me is... Uh, where's the Roman army? Because there definitely was a massive Roman army somewhere around here at one point. I just don't know where it is anymore. So you know what? I do have a spy right over here. How about we just send you over in this direction to try and locate a massive army. So I don't see him. I mean, he could be up here going to fight Germany. Good enough to have to deal with Gaul. Don't know what the situation with Mediolanum is right now. So... Oh dear. I mean, it might be a bit much to go and attack right now. Or alternatively, it could be the flipping way we do things because we're sort of Dacia. Screw it. I'm having Patavium back. I'm sick of you guys having so many ports. But I also need to, yeah, get some troops down south. And by the way, let's just uh, get everybody back up to good shape, please. Leave behind the damaged Sam Knights and the damaged Mercenary Hoplite. Because, uh, seriously, a single Hoplite can do a lot. And you guys can have a low tax rate, but I'm not sure you're going to be thrilled about it anyway. Oh, and we need to tear down all your stuff. Because just in case you take the place back, no, 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 no more of that. Though I can convert your Vulcan religion straight into my Zalmoxis religion, which is nice at the bare minimum. And then send the troops down to here. So next turn, 100%, hang on, how much do you actually have at this point? Yes, that one ladder you're building will be done next turn. With that one ladder, this army can take Masana. If we can just hold both of these towns for one turn, we've won. That's it. They're done. They're over. Nothing more they can do. But I've got to think the safe option is to go and just make sure Crotorn doesn't get attacked. So have we got anything here, by the way? Uh, nothing on this side of the line. Probably nothing the far side either. To be honest, no, nothing there. Let's see if we can just spook them off a little bit. Because this should be enough to... Yeah, that should definitely be enough to spook them off. I mean, I say that. That's now the faction leader. That's not nothing. Screw it. We don't need to win. We just need to give him a bit of a poke. That's fine. Okay, I'm coming from the north, so we'll just start in this here lovely farmland. And yes, my friends should be coming from over here-ish somewhere, right? There they are, lovely. So, oh, okay. You guys are in a bit of a difficult position too. Okay, bring them all together. Once everything's together, we should be able to comfortably just walk up and pelt them. Okay, time to see if my favourite old trick still works, which is the AI will always turn to face you. You can sometimes use this, or at least you used to be able to, to turn them off high ground. So right now, he's got the high ground. But if I just keep turning in this direction, just rotating around him, I might be able to force him to rotate more and more in this direction, backing off to avoid my ranged troops, at which point, suddenly, I've got the high ground. So let's just see if we can just push in a little bit here. He's... Uh, resisting more than I would have expected. And there's a little bit of a push forward uh, right there. And just you guys uh, slide your way up the side of the map here. This is a dangerous place to be. Uh, because, yeah, if anything breaks, it'll just go straight off the edge. But just keep on keeping on. We're right on the edge of the world here. And now just, yeah, bring this over in uh, this direction. Bring my cavalry up to... Uh, 
this side. Actually, keep it on this side. That's where the uh, the light cav is. And now, if we're lucky, we should have... It's a bit of an uphill advantage. It's not huge, but it's there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. They don't have their Velotez up front. I don't have my guys up front either because there's simply too much cavalry. So now we just nice and gentle move them forward. Any attempt to move against me, I've got spears up on both flanks. I've got some heavy cav ready to move in, do some good work. And soon, with the advantage of high ground, I should be attacking them before they can attack me. So, yeah, any moment now, the Velotez will walk straight into range. Because I know it says I can only shoot to this line. But I bet I can shoot a tiny bit further with some high ground. And there we go. Look at that. Outside the line. But they are about to be flipping shredded right there. So you guys enjoy this. Just enjoy uh, being attacked right there. And now the Principes want in. Which is kind of fine, to be honest. By the way, you guys can just walk cry. Then we just move you guys over to here. Start tossing a huge pile of stuff over there. That's basic Triarii. That's not very good at hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Bring the spearmen up and around. Guys, stop skirmishing. You're already nice and protected. So then we just get over here. We're going to charge into these guys because they're now under attack and they're not going to be enjoying that. So we're just going to hit them. May as well just get a light tap. Just nudge her. Then back out. Back out. So I don't want to engage with any of this. And honestly, I should probably hit the Triarii, because Triarii are pretty elite, so let's get them in the back if we can, just start pulling this line over here. Okay, are they, are they retreating at this point, or are they trying to hit me? So if they're trying to hit me, I've got myself, pull out, pull out, pull out, you got a phalanx right here, fall into the phalanx, lead them into the phalanx, alright, get out of there, they want to run into a phalanx, they can run into a phalanx, good luck with that. So, mercenary Peltas, just keep Flipping, pelting, keep flipping, pelting. The Triarii are kind of surrounded. And now it looks to me like you guys are shaken. The Phalanx is going to start taking some damage. But now I can close the door on him. And for some reason, this guy still wants to fight while everyone else is retreating. So this guy was a true Roman hero. All right. He kept fighting just to cover the escape of his compatriots. So well done that man. But I'm pretty sure that's it. The siege is now over. I say that, sorry. The Triarii are actually still fighting. Because Triarii will pretty much fight to the last. They are good troops. Though, at this point, wow, they're still steady. They're actually still... Okay, now they've broken. Nobody likes being charged by cavalry, as it turns out. Wipe them out. Because that there, that is the last ever Scipii Triarii. I've taken away their army barracks. They literally can't train anymore. You, sir, are the last Roman spearman. Okay, so he's naffed off over here. Though, yes, uh, there's still... Wait, I thought we killed somebody. Okay, I thought we killed someone, but apparently he's still got two generals there or something. Not sure how, but okay. And now, uh, is this place already on? Uh, this place is already on the lowest tax it can go. So, it's not very happy with us uh, right now. Uh, but on the other hand... Okay, that's only 42.5. Okay, holding this empire together is turning out to be... Uh, tricky. We might need to move the capital a bit more in this direction. How about Salona? How would everyone feel if Salona was the new capital of the Empire? And I'm guessing you guys over here are. Actually, you know what? You guys are fine. You guys are a-okay because there's a big army here. You guys would be okay with... You know what? I think Tarentum is now the capital. I think Tarentum is now just the capital of this Empire and that's a-okay. Lower the tax rate there at 82, and with low tax rate, you're at 77.5. So, okay, that's not going to be breaking anytime soon. Lily Byam is now happy to be in the Empire, which is great. Syracuse is still being a dick, but whatever. Um, Capua is better than it was. Still not spectacular, but it's going to have to do. And this does also mean, yeah, we can put up the taxes on this side of the empire, which is arguably the better, more productive side anyway. So that's fine. And yeah, at this point, we should probably send our troops to, uh, to Capua, because that place still needs uh, settling down a bit. But if Syracuse can just hold for one more turn, we've done it. We've killed the Scipii. Darn it, they're coming into Syracuse, and they have got 2,364 men versus my 140. So, 
This isn't going to go well for me, but with these walls, I might be able to do a surprisingly large amount of damage, actually. Because bear in mind, I've torn down the production facilities. There is nothing they can do. Any casualties they take here, they can't repair. Because replenishment isn't a thing at this point in Total War history. Okay? You can only retrain if there's an appropriate facility. And there's not, because I tore them all down for parts. Oh, yeah. Oh, flippin' yeah. This is, uh, this is interesting right here. They're going to be walking straight into one of the more dangerous areas. These rams could go down. This could go down. The sap, however, that's more of an issue. Yeah. My only hope was uh, maybe all the siege equipment gets destroyed. But the sap is an issue. Okay. I need to send my troops forward to try and take out the sap. But I need my troops to not break while that's happening. And they're barbarian mercenaries who have like, hang on, a morale of four. Which is very bad. But if I could just destroy the sap points. I really wish I'd left a second unit now. That would be really good. We've got to give it a go. We've got to try and take out the sap point. Okay, just draw up right here. But, uh, yeah, keep the unit card on. I need to keep a really close eye on morale. Okay, so if we're lucky, what's going to happen here is all of these guys are going to struggle to get past the level 4 wall defences, which they themselves built. So, uh-oh, that's... No, no, because their towers have... Their towers have ballista. We can't do it right now. Get back inside, get back inside, get back inside, get back inside, get back inside. Okay, so their own towers ballistas were just firing on me. Uh, so that that's good. That's, that's fine. How's your morale? Surprisingly good. Excellent. So there goes, yes, thing number one. So that's good. I really need this to catch fire, by the way. I'd love for this to be catching fire right now. That'd be, that'd just be great. And it's not catching fire, is it? If it's not catching fire, there's kind of no point to... Darn it. That was what I needed to happen. I needed that to catch fire, and it is not catching fire. What's my best bet at this point? You guys are still going to take some serious casualties. And you're going to go... Oh! You're going to the other gate, are you? Okay, good luck with that. That's going to hurt. Um... If I could take out the sap, that'd be that'd be nice. This wall's about to start taking some serious damage. Okay, I feel like the best bet now is just uh, fall back and basically let the towers do a lot of flipping damage. Because until they've taken the plaza, they've not won. Okay, we can still do damage to them, though. I'll give them credit. They're staying away from the towers way better than they used to. Enemies used to stay way too close to town. So this, I assume, is one of the uh, AI improvements related to towers in remasters. Okay, so they're flooding in, but they haven't taken the towers at first. So as a result of that, a lot of stuff is going to take a lot of damage just being shot as they move around the town. And if they are going to be dumb enough to send their light cav up first, then it's possible I might be able to scare off a unit or two of that. I'm not expecting miracles here, but I am expecting at least some casualties. Here we go. Equites number one. Let's pull my guys over to here for the time being. See if we can just stand up to uh, some light cavalry. Alright, so also guys, stay on the plaza. Stay on the plaza, please. And war cry. War cry up, please. Yep, just nice little war cry. And then get in right there. Okay, let's see off these guys. Admittedly, I know these guys have like spears, but they're not spearmen. But they can't break, so that's good. So you guys are going to take some serious damage. I say that, they're going down very slowly. Okay, that's not bad. It's not terrible. We're taking out some cav. Every single casualty cannot be replenished. Though they've probably got enough just to push their way through. I mean, the nice thing is, these guys cannot break. So, they're going to fight to literally the last guy and a few more people. If we could maybe just, uh, yeah, pad this out a little bit. There is more damage being done over here. The towers are still doing good work. So, you guys just go to the last, please. Because every second this carries on, there's more damage being done to the infantry. If anything, I should have stayed at the back. I should have just gone and hidden, like, you know, in the rear corner. Because if this fight were to go on longer, that would be to my advantage. So... 
Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have literally just gone and hidden, like, over here on the wall and said, screw it, uh, let's just let the walls do as much as they can. But at the bare minimum, they have taken some serious knocks. I mean, look at that. I've done more damage to them than they have to me. So I'm going to call that a win. And perfect timing. I've been hit by a bloody storm that's apparently done a bit of damage to my unit. So that there, that's not bloody cool, but whatever. Right, get the troops over here. We now have a new army that's facing in the wrong direction, but you know, he's, he's getting on a bit, is our faction leader, which is probably why he doesn't know where the city is anymore. Still, we do have a ladder, which should be more than enough to chop our way through these bloody peasants. And you know what? I think it's time. My fleet is now definitely strong enough to survive by itself. So, the great mercenary tour. We have now got the money. It is now underway. I say this, we just immediately... Okay, so good start. Good start to the great mercenary tour. But it's happening, okay? We are going to send this boat round the Mediterranean, round the Aegean specifically, and we are going to get some fresh blood in. All right, some new mercenaries, it's going to be good, because this army is starting to get ground down a bit. Now, as I was saying, Masana, get the flip out here, you stupid losers. Also, can't help but notice, the gateway appears to be, um, open. As in, it's broken, so why couldn't we walk in previous? Okay, it's fine, everything's under control, let's just go and sort this out. Okay, I'm assuming the spy opened the gate on this turn. I just didn't notice it. So, yes, I think that's uh, that's what happened here. Still, this does open up all sorts of fascinating, interesting discussions. Like, what happens if you send experienced, well-armed Samnites against a Roman peasants? Okay, they're shaken before the fight even begins. Then we start stabbing, and then everyone does a nice little jumpy jump. And then they start wavering, and then basically they're going to break. And oh dear, there's there's a very unfortunate haircut at the front there. Right, I think the Sam Knights are about to punish the, uh, yes, the Romans for their bad haircuts. And now they're trying to flee, and they're not going to be allowed to flee, actually. They're just going to be chopped the flip down. Ooh, there's nice heat haze. I hadn't noticed that before. There's heat haze on the fire. That's lovely. Oh no, I think we could do better than that though. What happens instead if you bait peasants into a prepared hoplite phalanx right in the middle of a tight street? Because, oh, that's lovely. The new fire effect is very good. I do appreciate that. It's just like, you know, a fireworks display, except being used to murder Romans. I mean, place bets now. Do you think they're even going to make it to the phalanx or are they going to break before they get there? Oh, they made it. Some of them actually did make it. Well done to those guys. So then they're being... Oh, that guy was just... He was shunted off into space. I'm going to be honest. They are doing better than I thought they were going to. This guy in particular. Give this guy a medal because he's almost there. He's getting there, damn it. All right. He's figuring it out and then... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, then he died. Okay, the peasants have managed to isolate a couple of members of the phalanx over here. So, they've taken down one, and he's got a shield. He's fighting. They're going for him. He's outnumbered. I mean, well done. Well done, these lads. They did great. By the way, I've got heavy cavalry waiting over here. So, it's not gonna last. And activate cavalry charge. Oh, dear. Well, that's just unfortunate for you bastards, really, isn't it? Okay, so we now have Masana back and we're going to be, you know, exterminating because it's just what we do. That's, you know, how we flip and roll. I think they tore down my religion. What a bunch of bastards. Okay, but this time I think we're here to stay. So let's build a barbarian port. Is there any chance I can immediately get everyone to... Oh my. Okay, I can immediately get everyone to Syracuse. Look at that. Look at this right here. It started happening. They've started breaking down units because they can't afford them anymore. They're bankrupt. They're breaking down their own armies. Oh, oh my. Now this is what I wanted to see. Okay, Lily Byam, we need to get in there as fast as possible, please. Ah, yes, and don't forget, up north, Patavium. I think it's time. All right, now, now I've got a new army. It's not a good army. It's kind of trash. It's nothing but, you know, giant piles of uh, barbarians and Illyrians. But Illyrians are good, so it's fine. Right, I'll be having this back anyway. 
Oh, that's nice. It's cold and wintry. So there's lovely, lovely frost and snow on the roof. That's really gorgeous, actually. I like that. And yes, there's boats nearby in the open ocean, so there's literally boats nearby. And there's the port, so there's the port, and uh, there's the coast, it's in the right shape, and... Uh, oh my goodness, just give us this back, Creative Assembly. Seriously, dynamic panel maps that actually reflect the state of the campaign map. This was perfect, just do this again. And they're gonna try and defend the breaches uh, with some Hastati. Unfortunately, yes, I have brought... Literally every Illyrian in the world. So it's not going to go well for them. Oh yeah, now that, that's a good solid number of javelins, damn it. Oh yeah, oh flippin' yeah. Not happy, not happy, love it. And now, now all of a sudden into the rear, lovely. Oh, down you go, you stupid shiny bastards. And as for the general, one might say I used one unit of, uh, yes, uh, poor barbarian mercenaries as uh, bait to lure the general out. And I'd say that's fair, yes. But now he's been lured away from the plaza, my bastani can just start tearing him apart. My own general can do good, good things. I have got Illyrians tossing over the top. Guys, stop running. Keep throwing, please. Thank you very, very much indeed. And at this point, he's going to be in... Uh, a lot of trouble. He is going to be very surrounded. Bastani can just chop through anything. Just look at them go. Tearing apart heavy cavalry. Doesn't matter. He's going to be broken in no time. I think he's the factionaire too. And down he goes so he's not no more. Good, 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 good. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Just out of curiosity, I'm going to send some Warcry Bastani. And we're just going to see how they do. And I will be providing some uh, backup. In the form of uh, cavalry. That's all absolutely fine. So, guys. Guys, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Bloody peeler. That bloody peeler's really gonna hurt. There we go. Get in. Start chopping them down. Because, oh, look at that. Falling apart. Falling apart. Very nice. Their defense skill will work at least a little bit. And now, yes, they're going to go in uh, for the attack. So, uh, they're losing a little bit. Did they just break immediately? Bloody useless. I was supposed to be showing you guys off. This was your moment to shine, okay? I was going to be going like, oh, look how good they are. Look how amazing these units are. They're so good. But instead, you had to break. And now I need to pull out my flipping general in case he dies. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you one more try at this. Do not let me down on this occasion. Get right over here. And then I want you to war cry. All right, I want to see you going wibbly, wibbly, woo. There's the war cry. Well done. Now get in over here and actually kill these bastards. Okay, it is your one flipping job. And in we go. Chop, 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 chop. A little bit of chopping. Not as much chopping as I'd like, to be honest. You guys are shaken and wavering and it's the bloody peeler. Bloody peeler. Guys, hold, hold and... Cocking useless. 1,700 gold you cost me. I brought you halfway across the bloody world for this. And you're letting me down, lads. In the end, this is going to be settled by barbarian mercenaries. So, okay. Bastani, that was just... This is a humiliation. The barbarian mercenaries have come in and done the job you could not. That's just sad. But it's all fine because we have got... Patavium back. Good, 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 good. How much of my stuff is still here, by the way? My blacksmith's still here. That's lovely. This can just go, of course. In fact, amazingly, Mediolanum is still held by the Gauls, which is uh, very interesting. Was not expecting that at all. In which case, that looks like German territory to me by the looks of the colour of the line. What happened to that big Julii army? Oh, we got more problems yet, though. Can't help but notice, yes. Ridiculously large Scythian forces are coming in. So, okay. It's time to buy some mercs, because we haven't been buying all the mercs around here this entire time. So, no, not... Well, okay, in all fairness, you can retrain those guys. That's not actually against the rules. That's fine, too. But mainly... Buy everything. Two useless Bastani, more Sarmatians, more Barbarians, every flipping Illyrian. Alright, get everybody into play. In fact, back in the city now, at this point, uh, let's just make sure we are retraining the right stuff here. 
retrain the stuff that's a priority. So, yes, retrain uh, you. You'll do just fine. Retrain the Bastani. Get them a bit up to snuff as well. Cavalry is high priority and Illyrians would be... Then again, these guys need upgrades to be in any way vaguely competent. Uh, okay. Maybe a handful of them too. Okay, we'll just keep doing that. You guys are coming in, but it's going to take you a while to get here. And yeah, get the blacksmith in production right now. We need better troops in this part of the world. And the question remains, will the Scipii take back Lilibium before I can take Syracuse? Because yes, once again, my spy has sort of failed me. Then again, I say he's failed me. He wasn't actually in the city. Should have moved him down first. That would have been a really good play, but I didn't do that, so whatever. So, can we defeat the Scipiones? Will we finally do the bloody mercenary tour? Where is the Julii army? And how the hell are we going to resist the Scythian force coming in from the north? All these questions and probably several more I'm not expecting to answer will be answered next time, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Rome to the War Remastered. Thank you very much and goodbye. No, this no, this no, guy's no, enjoying no. that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. <laughs> oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear. And then oh, in come the chariots. Yeah.